Ah, college. Students at Binghamton University, you heard Garrett reporting on this in New York, shutting down a speech by conservative economist Art Laffer, who's been awarded a Presidential Medal of Freedom earlier this year. So let's turn it to the editor-in-chief of The Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro, for more. All right, Ben, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so you've been in these situations where people don't want you to come, you show up, they cause problems. Um, what do you make of this? I mean, is free speech on campus legitimately under attack, or is that basically fear-mongering to cover these uh, incidents that way? No, I mean, the, the, there's a serious problem, and particularly this is true at, at this particular campus. It really does come down to the administration, not the students. In other words, protesters very often will get away with what they think they can get away with, have held a couple of big speeches in venues over the last couple of weeks, and the authorities have done a much better job. The administration has done a much better job of ensuring that if somebody really disrupts the event, there's enough security there to make sure that the person is removed so that everybody else can continue on with the event. At this particular event, it was pretty obvious that the, the administration decided to let the protesters have their way, and that really is the big question. Does the administration decide to kowtow to the hecklers or does the administration stand up for free speech and provide enough resources to prevent these these events from being shut down? Mm -hmm. So we know two people apparently were arrested and the administration is really pushing back on this thing. We're looking into it. We want to know who did what and if they violated policies, they're going to get in trouble. Um, the collegefix.com um, describes the situation this way. They say various videos of the incident show dozens of students yelling and disrupting the, the lecture with one man with a microphone declaring, quote, we are tired of being oppressed and we are tired of getting murdered by this administration, referring to the Trump administration. Ben, I don't know what his exact um, grievances are, but it's clear that they don't want to hear from anyone they think is linked to this administration or anything conservative in nature. Well, I mean, these people obviously hate marginal tax cuts. I mean, the, the Laffer curve, I wasn't aware that, that Art Laffer was the most controversial member of, of sort of the Trump coterie, but apparently if you really, really hate D differentials in marginal tax rates, then, then Art Laffer is your man. If, if you really believe that you're being murdered because Art Laffer proposed basic notions that if you lower taxes that you will increase government revenue, <laughs> then I don't know what to tell you. You may, you may need to see your shrink. They don't feel, they're not feeling the Laffer curve. Okay, I want to take you to another controversy, which is this whole idea that Chick-fil-A is changing the groups that it donates to um, out or the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and the Salvation Army, which, by the way, has been taking a beating lately in the mainstream media. Um, this is what the president of Chick-fil-A now says and chief operating officer says, beginning in 2020, the Chick-fil-A Foundation will introduce a more focused giving approach, donating to a smaller number of organizations working exclusively in the areas of hunger, homelessness, and education. No organization will be excluded from future consideration, faith-based or non-faith-based. Um, they're trying to tam tamp down, which, I, I, listen, on social media has been a, like, no more nuggets kind of reaction from people that are conservative. I mean, it's completely idiotic. Completely idiotic. But Chick-fil-A's, their, their gross revenue went from $1 billion in 2001 to $10.5 billion this year, and did so despite the fact that the left has been targeting them since 2013 when they found out that Dan Cathy, who is the CEO of Chick-fil-A, was in favor of traditional marriage. That has not slowed Chick-fil-A's growth one iota. And the fact that Chick-fil-A decided to bow down before the lords of political correctness and then cut Christian charities out because those Christian charities happen not to support same-sex marriage militantly is, is pretty astonishing, and it's a horrible sign for our culture. I mean, if we are really only going to now eat at restaurants where the, the activities of the restaurants don't matter, right? Chick-fil-A will serve anybody gay straight. It doesn't matter. Everybody is happy to eat a chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A will serve. The, the real question is if you are going to start boycotting businesses based on the personal views of the owners of the business, well, then we're going to end up with basically a two-tiered political system in every aspect of American life. And the country can't last that way. I mean, if I literally have to check out the political donation record of the restaurant's owner where I go to patronize the burger, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know how we're going to last as a country this way. Yeah, you have to feel like the pendulum will swing back at some point. Now, um, Drew Anderson, who is the director of campaigns for GLAAD, um, an LGBTQ rights organization, says this, in addition to refraining from financially supporting anti-LGBTQ organizations, Chick-fil-A still lacks policies to ensure safe workplaces for LGBTQ employees and should unequivocally speak out against the anti-LGBTQ reputation that their brand represents. So uh, the left doesn't sound satisfied by this move that Chick-fil-A made. 
because the left will never be satisfied. The Boy Scouts did the same thing, and the left went after the Boy Scouts. Once you give an inch to the left with regard to your fundamental principles, the left will never stop. If Chick-fil-A believes that they bought off the left through all of this and that the left is suddenly going to start switching their dollars over from whatever vegan restaurants they are patronizing to Chick-fil-A, they've got another thing coming. Chick-fil-A is not going to win any supporters on the left, and they're going to lose a lot of supporters on the right who feel like they surrendered to, to nasty, censorious cancel culture. The only thing that gets people more um, heated is arguing over which sauce is the best. Don't at me on Twitter. Ben Shapiro, always great to have you. Thank you so much. Good to see you.